I said to the boys before, um, it might take us 38th minute to, to get the winner today, because um, it's a, a tough place to come, um, and that proved to be the case. I thought for the first 30 minutes, we was excellent to be honest. I thought we played some great stuff, um, just didn't capitalise on that momentum. Uh, and then they come into the game, last 15 minutes of the first half, um, really, uh, the, the momentum of the game just just swung, and we was like missing um, headers, not picking up the second balls. I thought Ricky and Ross picked up everything first 30 minutes. They wasn't doing that. We was missing headers up front. Um, at the back, we was losing battles um, in the last 15 minutes. So half time probably come at a good time for us to settle everyone down. And second half, it could have gone either way to be honest. But it's a, it's a tough place to come, and um, they're a good side. They got some real firepower up front. Um, the lads up front there, they're, you know, they got to Horst on the bench as well. He's, he's a good player at this level. Um, scores a lot of goals. So you know, the, their firepower is not not to be crumbled out. And to keep two consecutive clean sheets. Is, is, is good, it's massive for us. Um, you know, Alfie coming back in and the back three look like they're getting a bit of a relationship and some great saves from Lucas. But um, yeah, I thought it was a good team performance and that's what we're becoming a good team. There's no, you know, we're not going to finish where we're finishing the league through one individual, it's through having a good collective group and a good collective team and, you know, the subs when they're called upon and, and the squad that we've got. Um, that'd be the reason that we finish, you know, where we finish. Alfie sort of just slided back into the team really quietly, but out there he looks ex exceptional. You must be happy with him. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with some of his defending as well. Like, all, lots been made of, you know, him stepping in with the ball, and obviously that's great. But just a couple of times today, I thought his defending was excellent. Just recognised the danger, I got the right side. Um, you know, really pleased with that aspect of his game, and um, like I say, alongside Jaden and, and Joel there. Uh, you know, look, uh, a, a good, good prospect. A couple of times, I thought we didn't deal with, you know, their, their front boys and let them in. The tens had a great chance here with his left foot, uh, one on one with Lucas, and, and not took it. But you know, we've got to take our chances. I think first half, um, we had some really good, good chances. Uh, Joel with his left foot, David, when he's seems like he's just always going to do is tap it in. Um, you know, we had, we had some good, good chances. Ollie at the bar, um, so. I think it was quite a, quite, a, quite a fair game, to be honest, could have gone either way and just delighted that we had enough to, to see us through. You know, what we've got to get out of David is for him to be more reliable. Um, you know, all over the pitch, I think he's, he's it looked like he was playing with his slippers on um, for a long part of that game, kept slipping over and it must have been frustrating for the defenders to watch. But you know he's got that bit of magic where he can just go past three players like they're not there. Um, so, you know, frustrating, frustrating to watch um, at times, but you know, we've seen him provide enough goods for us uh, this season to, to know what he's all about. Folkestone had two players sent off within the last 20 minutes. Before that, was it sort of, you know, get a point and go home? And once they had their two players sent off, was it, you know, we really want the three points now? Yeah, as soon as the first one got sent off, to be honest. You I changed felt, it up? Yeah, this is this has got to be Chuck Jaden up top and we've got to go now. This is our, our moment to try and get to hope from the game, um, you know, but I think because we keep getting the ball to our wide players, you know, it makes their defenders defend. So, um, you know, it's, it's, it's going to happen. Ollie's left one on one with the, the right back numerous times, same with David. Um, so, you know, I think that was fair, fair, fair decisions to be honest. If I'm, uh, you know, Joel got booked as well for a similar tackle, um, so that's why he's had to, had to come off. Um, but yeah, they probably feel, feel it's a little, hot, little bit harsh, but. Um, you know, it's obviously done us, done us a real favour going down to my man. I know the away boys always travel well, but especially today, and they're singing your name at the end there, it must be a buzz. Yeah, of course it is, yeah. Um, they've been fantastic all season, so we're just delighted now we can go on a little run at a good time and you know, come out in their numbers to support us today. They didn't stop with the drum and throughout the game, so yeah, delighted that we can keep going and come away with three points is, makes it all, all worthwhile.